Hello, hello. Uh, my name's Sean. You might know me if you uh, that one Vietnamese guy on the leaderboards for this game. Uh, I got with me here Eris and Inkfera. Hi. Uh, Hi. And also Hudson as a host, so I win uh, prettiest couch by default. Uh, and and I'm pretty much ready to go. Are we good? Go? Uh, yeah, let's do do a countdown and yeah, ready? Three, two, one. Go. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the timing. Right, so the this game, uh, the, the whole gimmick is we have left and right as our buttons. And it, as you can see, it's a platformer. So the only way for us to jump is uh, by wall jumping. Uh, and there will be moments where it looks like I am being very uncoordinated, like this. Um, it's because the game is really janky to control. Uh, there's like a just a tiny bit of momentum to it, uh, which makes it like just frustrating enough to the point where it's like really hard. Uh, but yeah, we're doing a climb up here. Uh, this is supposed to be faster, but uh, I messed it up, so it's not. Uh, but I want to show off everything we found. Uh, I had I hosted a side event for this whole marathon during the week. Uh, hello. Um, and during this side event, we found a bunch of cool new stuff, which is, in my opinion, a very cool way to show how a community can come together and find more things about a game, even if it's literally this. Yeah, to be fair, like this game looks pretty simple and small, and I mean, to be fair, it is, but it's really, really hard, because as Sean said, you don't even have jump, you can just wall jump, you only have left and right, so it is indeed a super hard indie title. Today, because it has just two yeah. buttons. I wrote the task for it. I think it, I, it was fun. Oh yeah, yeah Inky tasked it too. It's pretty insane, actually. You're right. <laughs> uh, this level specifically, or this area, is the reason we have to play this game at 40, uh, 60 hertz, uh, because all of everything, the physics and the just timers, everything is uh, refresh rate based, uh, which makes these levels actually just impossible on anything above 60 hertz. I think you know, some, someone was like, oh yeah, at 120 hertz you can just barely do it, but it's like frame perfect. Uh, so I'm not doing that. Yeah, I remember I, when I first tried this game, I played it on 75 hertz, and it was just playable enough until a uh, little ways through the game when it was just like, wait, I can't beat this. Why? Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, the button on this level is completely useless. We still we skip it. Um, this is usually the first level where people get like heart stuck. Uh, because it's timer based. It's not true, I got hard stuck on like the second one. Uh, they are fair enough. Uh, this jump is dummy hard. Yeah, it's it's like, it's not frame perfect, but it, it's close to frame perfect, I think. Like, it might as well be. But Sean is trying to like wall jump off of the, the wall facing the the right. And he's trying to yeah. do it like as close to the top as possible so he can actually clear the gap instead of going to press the uh, button. I think that would have been it. But I wasn't committed. So sad. I mean, this isn't. This obviously isn't faster anymore. But yeah, as I said, he wants to show everything off. There we there go. There we nice. go. Oh, that's actually really hard. Yeah, uh, I f I used to think it was momentum based. It's not. You, you can technically line it up, but it's like so slow. So I just do it by feel. The task for you for the previous level is that the exit for the level bobs up and down, and you can go underneath it, which definitely messed me up. Also, absolute banger soundtrack. Oh. Uh, it's a bit janky. Uh, if we don't get this one, oh, it's fine actually, we get it. Just a little different. Uh. Yeah, uh, moving platforms are really janky, especially the horizontally one, uh, horizontally moving ones, uh, which is why I try to inter not interact with them on this level. I also messed this up. Uh, I wait for these to go right, and then I do three wall jumps, and this is pretty much 100% consistent. Uh, because, yeah, I don't, I don't want to interact with Jank too much, if I can avoid it. Oh, that's good. Some seriously hardcore in the title going on. There's some more climb-ups here. Uh, it's, this is not easy. Uh, you have to like go neutral for a bit with uh, the inputs, and it's it's really awkward, uh, but it's kind of you kind of get used to it. Uh, so here we in the like what fifth area I think. Um, oh, also one thing to mention uh, during screen transitions, I can already move a bit, uh, which allows me to skip a mm, pretty hard, this sort of puzzle-ish thing. It's not really a puzzle. It's yeah. Oh, oh my god. Hello. Oh, just up. Oh, well. 
yeah. There's gonna be moments of this. Uh, and there will be more. Uh, it will happen. I am not sorry. God damn it. Superbly hard. In the title here. Yeah. Doing some uh, super high intensity trout fishing here. <laughs> <laughs> it's trout fishing one word. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. For this, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was too low on this, so uh, usually you can just jump in, but uh, yeah, first cool screen wrap. Uh, this was the longest level in the game, but it's not, so we, we just we just give up. Uh, this world introduces projectiles. Uh, it's pretty simple, to be honest, um, but it gets kind of kind of wacky, uh, especially with higher refresh rates. I could also showcase the point that uh, the game doesn't actually pause if you pause. Uh, it just slows it down a lot. Uh, and the frequency of the bullets stays the same. Oh, whoops. Wrong way. Uh, and most of the optimization for this game is just like playing clean and also trying to minimize the amount of jumps we have to do. Because, you know, there's not much more to this. Uh, on this I can I can showcase. Like, if you see, like there's just the bullets just keep going faster and faster and there's just a laser beam. Um, so that's kind of uh, neat. Uh, but on this we skip. Uh, just the whole lower section because we don't like it. Uh, thanks to being able to move during screen transition, we just have barely enough time to make that. Uh, and the fact that I got that first try is actually crazy. I usually don't. This area is where we kind of get a bit silly with uh, screen wraps, thanks to thanks to Inkfera, um, because we found some some really good stuff. Uh, that saves a lot of time, actually. Uh, one of them doesn't feel like it saves time uh, because you just don't do anything. You just kind of hold right. Uh, oh yeah, I want to do climb up here because it's cool. Um, this lineup is really hard. Uh, it's like these ridges that help line it line it up, but it's still really tight because the the inputs itself aren't easy either. There we go. Let's go. Yeah, now, now we get to the first, like, areas where there's just, no, like, first areas in this section uh, where there's just nothing. Uh, and here's the cool screen wrap. Um, we hold right. That's it. This is actually pretty sick. Wait for it. There Whoop. we go. There it is. <laughs> uh, here's the, the actual cool screen wrap. Um, we wrapped out the... Actually, Inky, you want to explain this? So oh. I'm done with it by then, but yeah. Oh, well, I might not. Hero jump? Theoretic, if you screen wrap, the key follows you. So it zooms across the screen. And if you time it correctly, you can get it to hit one of the keyhole blocks. And if you do it even more accurately, you can get it to hit two of them at once. And in that case, you need two keys to hit three keyhole blocks. Uh, this this one's weird. Um, you're not supposed to be able to jump out of these bubbles. Um, but on this one specifically, it's just doable. Uh, we haven't figured out how or why. Oh god, what am I doing? Um, but uh, we, we, we want to, uh, because it will make so much things so, so a lot easier, uh, which I will m maybe be able to showcase in a bit. I did it on accident on task, and then we spent days figuring out why does it work like that? What does the bubble do? Okay, I'm doing something really weird here. Um, you're not supposed to be able to skip the bubble, uh, the second one. Uh, but if you do some some jank with like going left and right, it, you get spit out just a tiny bit further to the right. Um, this is gonna take a while, uh, so I won't try too long. If I hit nine minutes, uh, I I will just stop. If you if I go over, just tell me please. Sure. Um, do you want to address the Wombat in the room in the meantime? Uh, oh yeah, the Wombat is uh, is a reference to the developer, uh, Stuffed Wombat, who also made uh, a bunch of other cool games. Uh, very experimental, uh, and they're, they're, they're cute little micro games usually. Um, and uh, yeah, I just brought two along. One of them is going to, uh, to the first place of the competition that we hosted. I'm on nine minutes, this is last try. Okay, I didn't get it. But you can just barely skip this. It's really hard, as you can tell. Maybe, maybe, maybe you can tell. Oh, that was too low. Uh, too high, actually. God damn it. Gives you more time to listen to this soundtrack. Yeah, exactly. True. Oh my god, please. I'm choking. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say play it safe, and I messed it up. Insane. 
this is way harder than it looks. Yeah. By the way, like yeah. it's it's unbelievable how much easier it looks than it actually is. There we go. Okay. Uh, now we're on to the second to last area after this level. There we go. Uh, this area has moving spikes. They come out behind a wall, which means at the very beginning of the level, there's a, just a wall there that we can use for wall jumps. Uh, why that might be useful, um, there's one specific level. I think Taz can use it some more because it's you know, frame perfect and such. Um, but <laughs> I only use it on one specific level because I can save a singular jump with it, which is like, I don't know, frames. <laughs> so after this one, so right here, I will, yeah, I did th this wall jump is really hard. It's a couple of frames that I have time for that. Ooh, that's, okay. This climb up is really awkward and a lot of people get stuck on it, including me when I first played this game. Uh, but by now I have a rhythm to it and it's really nice. Yeah, there were a lot of people going insane oh, yeah. over that in the practice room. I'm doing more, I'm doing more climb ups here. Uh, this one's arguably the hardest one. Uh, so I'll try for a couple of times and then uh, just go on if I don't. Oh, let's go! Uh, I'm, I'm not going for this. <laughs> this. There's a cool strat on this level, but it's like it feels frame perfect and it's it's absurd. I get it like once a moon, in a blue moon, so I'm not going for it. A bit faster right here. Oh, oh, I messed it up. Uh, but yeah, we can open the door as it's moving left, and then we just skip a cycle, which is kind of nice. Uh, also, we're coming up on time in a bit. Uh, oh, that was weird. Not yet, not yet. It's uh, the level after this, once I get there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You're teasing the button. Uh, and time. Was it 17 minutes? What? No, clearly not. Oh, no, because I was sitting in the, yeah, on the start. <laughs> You're in the menu. Yeah. Okay, time. <laughs> That's time. Uh, it's a level. Yeah. Uh, and because I have like just a tiny bit left, uh, so here's some cool cool tech if I get it. Um, if you press, like you're in practice mode right now, if you press A, you usually can swap between levels. So you go one level back with A. Uh, if I press A and the speedrun button at the same time, I can sometimes, if I do it right, get ported to the last level with a new speedrun timer. Uh, like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then I can technically just clear the game in five seconds if I, if I get it right. Uh, yeah, there we go. In time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's the newest tech. Uh, it's uh, I, d I don't I don't like it because it kind of ruins the game. Um, but yeah, that was that was that was the game. I was uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, I I prepared a list for shoutouts because I knew I would forget. Uh, so I obviously shoutouts to Stuff Bombet for making this game. Uh, also check out his new game, uh, Mo Salina on Steam. It's very cool. Um, shoutouts to Zola to Smacklosa who's currently taking pictures of me. <laughs> uh, Shoutouts to Lord Mouse, Ulvin, Snardico, uh, Morale. Uh, we've only talked like once for in, in 2019, but she was the original reason I came to ESA. Uh, Shoutouts to Cruel for being absolutely amazing. Uh, Shoutouts to every single person at the Speed Fam. Uh, Shoutouts to everyone on the Slow Runs live team, especially Timelink and Stormson who are both here. Uh, and yeah, I, I dearly love you all. And I wish nothing but the best for you. Oh, show and thank you so much for that incredible run of Sword and Shield Heroes in Training. Although I am wondering when the Pokemon are turning up. <laughs> Just quickly, I want to read a couple of donations. We had so much love coming in for you. Shamrock63 donated $50 and said, You got this, show and you are the poggers. And Henny donated $40, said, Yo, show and good luck on the run. Thanks for introducing us to this fun game. May Bubble RNG be with you. Yes, someone nerfed Jack. He's too strong. <laughs> So with that, I'm going to uh, hand it back over to our gig who's over at the hosting desk. <laughs>